rolling. <laughs> Got me ready. So, who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name is uh, Mark Smiley. I write and draw a comic called Artesia, and I run a publishing company called Archaea Studios Press, which is also called ASB Comics sometimes. Uh, so we publish mostly uh, fantasy books, science fiction books, uh, some sort of historical books, uh, anything that's sort of genre work uh, we're, we tend to be interested in. So. Originally you started out as a self-publisher and now you got a whole entourage of uh, yeah. Uh, actually, I was originally published by a company called Sirius, uh, which was uh, uh, back in the late 90s, they were putting out books like uh, Dawn, Poison Elves, Scary Godmother, stuff like that. Um, and then uh, left them after doing a couple series with them, uh, decided to try self-publishing for a little while. Uh, did that, uh, was seemingly good enough with it that I was able to begin expanding. So we've added uh, a few more titles last year, we're adding 10 more titles this year. So it's uh, to trying to take things in small steps, growing bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, hopefully, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> who knows. <laughs> so um, so um, how far into your saga are you? Uh, Artesia itself is um, it's sort of epic military fantasy, and so uh, uh, the idea that I had for the series was if I live long enough, I'd like to do a total of 22 six-issue series. Uh, and some, I'm a big fan of Dave Sim and Cerebus, so the notion of like that you know, one big giant work was sort of something that really appealed to me. Um, and then uh, the fantasy setting of the book has a version of the tarot in it. And uh, the tarot, I don't know if you know the tarot, but the tarot has uh, a series of uh, major face cards called the Major Arcana. And so each of those cards, usually there's a kind of psychological, symbolic kind of association with, uh, with each of the cards. And so I'm using each of those cards as a theme for each series as it comes out. So there are 22 cards, so there are 22 series to go with the cards. And uh, at this rate, it'll take me 30 years to do it. <laughs> so, so I quit smoking, I've really cut down on the drinking, I'm trying to eat right, so I actually live long enough to finish the book. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> right, right, awesome. There you go, right. So how, how is the New York Comic Con treating you? Uh, the cons, uh, we set up at the show last year and we're very pleasantly surprised at how, uh, I mean, Reed Expo obviously has a great reputation as a convention and exhibit organizer, but it was their first year doing, uh, doing a comic convention. And there's obviously a, sort of a learning curve when you're going through this sort of stuff, but the, the, the show last year was really great. A lot of enthusiasm from a New York crowd that's really been hoping for a, a major convention on the East Coast in the New York City area for a long time. And so to have a really nice, well-run show in the area, was a, as a local, it was a great sort of, uh, uh, a great feeling to be like, oh great, an actual con that we can go to and sort of be like, you know, this is a, a, a sort of the San Diego style, wizard style show in the New York City area was a, was a, was a, a great sort of like thing to see. And this year, once again, you know, they're kind of on a learning curve, but uh, so far the show's been a, it's been, it's a busy show, so we're, uh, uh, we're always happy when a show is busy. That's a, <laughs> that's always a good thing, so. Well, um, any website information you want to give? Sure, I, I would be happy to plug our website. Uh, our website is uh, www.aspcomics.com. So uh, we've got a bunch of previews on that for a bunch of the books that we do, uh, updates going on all the time, reviews, links to reviews of our books at other sites. So um, if you need to find out anything more about us, then uh, you can go there and, uh, and check out our books. So. Well, thanks for joining with us. Great, thanks, thanks for having me on board. So. Thanks.